What's up everybody, I'm Adam, you're watching Model Aviator, and this week we have our second video from our trip to Ceph. The Southeast Electric Flight Festival was down at Mack Hodge's place in Andersonville, Georgia. We had a great time hanging out with the folks from Flex Innovations. Seth Arnold took a lot of his time to give us some overviews and some demo flights with a couple of airplanes. Uh, you may have seen a video a few weeks back of their new Yak, the little foamy, amazing airplane. This is the other end of the spectrum. This is a big Balsa 35% RV8. This is their RV8 70cc FLS, and FLS stands for Featherlight Series. For those of you that don't fly huge airplanes, most 35% airplanes are 100cc airplanes minimum. They are heavy. The Featherlight Series from Flex Innovations weighs anywhere from five to nine pounds less than your average 35% airplane. That's how on 70cc power they're able to fly so well and with so much authority. This one, obviously, since we're at an electric flight festival, is powered on 12S. So you're gonna see Seth Arnold, who is a phenomenal pilot. He's won XFC three times. Uh, for those of you that don't know what XFC is, that's the Extreme Flight Championships. You gotta be one heck of an aerobatic RC stick to win that. To even be invited to compete, you have to be good. To win it, not once, not twice, but three times, you have to be exceptional. So Seth is gonna give us an overview of this airplane. You'll hear the wind, you'll see the wind whipping the control surfaces when he's talking to us around. And then he's going to turn right around, plug the batteries up, and give us a demo flight with that airplane in winds that were gusting up to 18 miles an hour. He doesn't change anything about the way he flies this airplane in that much wind versus when he's flying it in calm conditions. I think some of that is that the Aura system works really good, but you guys have flown with gyros. I've flown with gyros. They do well, but they're not magic. 20 mile an hour wind, even with a gyro, you have got your hands full to present an airplane really, really well. Seth demonstrates in this demo flight the difference in a pro and the rest of us mere mortals. I fancy myself a pretty good RC stick. I can hold my own. I'm pretty good in wind. I wouldn't have a prayer. First of all, I can't do most of the things that Seth does with this airplane, it can do some of them, but I couldn't do any of the things that I'm capable of as smooth and pull them off the way he did in that much wind. It's just really an incredible job of flying. It's why pros are called pros. So this is very entertaining. It's a cool airplane. Go to Flex Innovations and check it out. We'll leave a link in the description to the page on Flex Innovations where you can get one of these if you'd like to get one. Amazing flying airplane, good looking airplane, and piloted by one of the best in the world. So check it out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you next week when we'll have something cool with wings. What's up everybody? You're watching Model Aviator. We're here at Seth with Seth Arnold with Flex Innovations, and he has got a really tiny little airplane. To yeah, tell us it's, about, it's, huh? it's a really small one for sure. <laughs> one of the bigger ones here. I don't think it's quite as big as Damon's MSL, but uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is one of our new RV870 CC. So, this one we obviously have set up electric for the event here. Um, runs on 12 cell LiPo, um, but it's basically a 35% scale RV8. So, um, typical airplanes this size are usually powered by like a 120 CC engine. And we've actually made this one super light, set it up with a 70cc equivalent to electric setup, or you can do gas if you wanted to. And the whole airplane is right around 24 pounds. Uh, so for the wing area and size of this thing, it's actually quite light. And that's uh, one of the really cool things with this. It's, it's part of our new Featherlight series that we're, that we're coming out with. And uh, we've had this one on the market for a couple months now, but everybody seems to be enjoying it. So. That is awesome. It's a beautiful, beautiful airplane. Uh, you want to show us how to do it? Yeah, sure. We can take the hatch off there. I'll pull this off. Uh, this down. Lift back up here. But you can see we got two of our Potenza 6S 6200s for power. And we're running the Aura H Professional uh, Gyro System in it. That's kind of the heart to this, this whole deal. But we offer this in two versions. You can get this as a standard ARF or you can get this as an ARF SV. 
the RFSV comes with all the servos installed, the linkages are done, the servo arms are included and installed, wow. and uh, really makes the assembly pretty quick. Yeah. The thing that I even like most myself about the RFSV is all the hinges or hinge gaps are sealed, and it's done uh, where the hinges are cut out, every little uh, tiny spot for the hinges is cut out of that gap seal, and it's all professionally done with uh, from the factory there. Um, one other really cool thing, unfortunately this one's a prototype so I can't show you this one because this one doesn't have it, but the airplane does come with a removable vertical fin. So if you have a smaller vehicle, you can actually put it in a smaller vehicle, it makes it a little easier to transport. Kiki actually has a Toyota Prius and we stuck one in a Prius, uh, so it can fit in quite a small vehicle by, by taking that fin off there. So I had a bit of money, there's no way you could do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it certainly helps getting that off and uh, yeah, it helps making transporting such a big airplane a little a little bit easier of a task or storing it for that matter. So. Right. What kind of receiver pack are you running there? Yeah, so in this one we've got two Potenza 2S 4000 million receiver packs. Those are plugged straight into the Aura Pro um, for power. And the nice thing with that setup is the servos are all plugged in there, so the power goes straight to the servos. There's no additional, uh, you know, jumpers or anything like that you have to run with that right. setup. So, right. what's the price point on the two versions? So I'd have to. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I believe the RFSV is right around 2,000, and the ARF's right around 1,300. Okay. Um, so basically, for about uh, about 700 bucks, you get some really high quality uh, 490 ounce inch servos that are included with it, and they're all pre-installed and all that extra work's done for you. So right. pretty pretty good deal actually with that setup. So that is pretty awesome. Yep. Yep. Well, it is super windy, but thankfully, Seth is one of the best pilots on the planet. So you're going to show this thing off for us, aren't you? Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 